Welcome to the Business Outlook Survey press conference call. My name is Katherine Dibling, Public Affairs Specialist in the Federal Reserve Bank of Philadelphia's Public Affairs Department. And with me today is Mike Treving, Senior Economic Analyst. Today we will take questions from reporters on what our manufacturers had to say about business activity in their firms in February. First, Mike will give a brief summary. Mike? Thanks, Kathy. Our monthly manufacturing survey indicates that regional manufacturing activity is continuing to grow in February. The survey's diffusion indexes for general activity, new orders, shipments, and employment were all positive again this month. And on balance, the indicators for new orders and shipments suggested a slight pickup from last month. Employment was reported near steady this month. However, uh, firms reported on balance higher work hours. Input price increases were more widespread this month, um, but about one-fifth of the firms continued to report higher prices for their own manufactured goods. The broadest indicators of future activity fell back somewhat this month, but continue to suggest that firms remain confident about growth over the next six months. And I'll call your attention also to our special questions this month that addressed uh, firms' expectations for capital spending for 2012 compared to to 2011. Questions? Kathleen Madigan, Dow Jones. Um, is there any weather effect for either the January or the February numbers since the uh, weather has been so mild? Mm -hmm. um, of course, we, we seasonally adjust the numbers. Um, um, we didn't get any comments about, about impacts of weather on, um, on activity this month. Um, rarely do they they mentioned that unless there's a snowstorm of some sort. But we have no reason to think that, that weather um, was um, affecting this, um, this number at all. Follow-up questions? Ellen Freilich, Reuters? I'm sorry, I don't really have any. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Kathleen, do you have any more questions? Um, can you talk a little bit about the, the capital spending plans? I mean, um, mm -hmm. It higher, you know, are they planning really big increases or, or just slightly higher? You know, is there any uh, quality of, of what kind of spending uh, they're going to do? Um, no, we didn't ask them for, for amounts, um, only whether they were increasing or decreasing by category. And um, as is indicated about um, 35%, 36% of the firms expected higher total to, total capital spending ne next year. That's in line with, with numbers we, we, we saw last November, I think, um, when we asked that same question. Um, um, the composition of, of the spending was, was inter interesting in as much as the um, um, spending for non-computer equipment software and, and software were, were higher than than other categories, in particular structures, where on, on balance, I think there were more firms indicating re, re, reduced spending on structures than increases. Um, and, um, and when we ask about you know, the reasons for, for the increase in spending, uh, not too surprising, expected growth in, in sales and the need to replace uh, equipment, and uh, improved cash, cash flow or balance sheet position were the highest highest noted uh, reasons for those increases. Um, New York had a similar question about capital spending th this month too and, and their, their numbers were a little bit higher in terms of share of firms expecting capital, capital spending increases but, but nearly the same conclusions about the composition of growth in the different categories of expenditures for next year. Uh, Mike, uh, mm -hmm. you said um, 35 or 36 percent of firms expected a higher total capital spending next year. You mean this year, right? This, th this year. This year. Okay. Thanks. Actual, uh, their planned spending for 2012 compared to their actual in 2011. Sorry about that. Plan for 2012 compared to actual 2011. That's correct. Okay. Any more questions? And then for me, thanks. Ellen? Uh, no, thank you. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye. 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 Now to follow up the press conference, Mike and I are going to talk a little bit more about 
the report that the reporters did not touch on. So talk to me about prices. I see that 36%, is that right now? 42%, right? Mm -hmm. Excuse me. 42% said that they um, had an increase in prices for inputs, and then 22% said that they had an increase for their own manufactured goods. Right. So mm -hmm. can you talk to us a little bit about that discrepancy? Right. Well, well we've seen a little bit of a pickup in the share of firms reporting cost increases um, for the last four months, actually. Um, um, 34, 35 percent last month um, we're reporting um, higher prices paid. It's up to 42 percent. So we've seen some gradual increases in, in the, the, the nature of cost increases. They seem to be more widespread. Um, however, on, on the prices received side, uh, although we've seen also similar increases or modest increases in the prices received index, uh, about the same percentage of firms reporting um, higher prices for their own goods, about 22 percent or a fifth of the, the reporting firms. Um, obviously some of the firms, you know, are experiencing cost increases and not being able to pass on, on the price increases to their customers. Um, we have reason to think that you know many of these increases are, are related to, to petroleum and petroleum-based products from some of the comments. Now I see that the firms aren't as optimistic mm -hmm. as they were last month, however, there's still optimism. Right. Um, does this have anything to do with any uncertainty out there as far as the firms are concerned? Um, I wouldn't make too much of the, the, the decline in the, the the six-month forecast indicators this month, um, they do tend to bounce around, and, and the levels are still relatively high. With, with, you know, almost half of the firms reporting that they expect growth in, in, um, in overall activity and, and orders and shipments, and a smaller, much smaller percentage expecting declines. So those levels of the indexes are, are, are still reflecting optimism, I think. And, and then, if we act actually look at the employment forecast, it's, it's a little bit improved this, this month. Um, it didn't do the same thing as the broad indicator. So that, that optimism on employment, um, um, I think, is still good news, with, with about a third of the firms expecting to have uh, higher levels of employment over the next six months. Well, thank you, Mike. You've just been watching the Business Outlook Survey press conference call for February 2012. With me has been Michael Trebing, Senior Economic Analyst, and I'm Kathy Dibling, Public Affairs Specialist at the Federal Reserve Bank of Philadelphia. We will be talking to you again on Thursday, March 15, 2012.